Melbourne suburbs are a haven where different cultures and social groups create vibrant communities that attract people from all over to try the food, see the crafts, hear the music and inevitably supplant the people who made it appealing in the first place with middle income wank jobs. One man who has seen it all is real estate agent Otis Frank. Brunswick used to be quite a multicultural area, you know, uh, a lot of uh, Italian and Lebanese migrants, you know, also a lot of students and stuff. Uh, but then in the 2000s, it started to get really gentrified, you know. The hipsters moved in with their cafes and they made the area cool, which made the prices start going up, you know. So then all these kind of like tag-alongs started moving in and then like the kind of yuppies and then eventually like those rich people, that, those rich douchebags that just do CrossFit, you know. And then eventually the prices went up so high that the only people that can afford to live here are the goblins with their goblin gold. At first, the goblins like just moved into the sewers and they made those like a really cool place to hang out. You know, like everybody wanted to go to the goblin clubs. The goblin art scene was just banging, right? And then they kind of started filling the sewers up and then they started buying big apartment buildings like this and then just knocking them down and just making them into big holes in the ground. They're just goblificating this whole suburb. Tom, one of the longest term residents of Brunswick, has seen a lot of changes in the three years he's been living here. I remember when all this was medium density housing, you know, apartment building, eight storeys high, little IGA at the bottom. Now it's just a big hole in the ground for goblins. That was a cafe, that was a cafe, that was a cafe. It's all been goblified now. The few cafes that have survived have had to adapt to the new residents. Say what you like about the goblins. Two years ago, you could not get a good smash rat this side of the river. Now, this is where all the good rat connoisseurs come to get like delicious single origin cold smashed rat. Mm. It's like anything, you get a taste for it. Oh, this one probably needs a few more days in the sun. Yeah, it's actually bringing people in. I don't care how good it is. 12 pieces of goblin gold is just too much to pay for a smashed rat. Forget it. I'll just stay home and smash a rat with my AeroPress. Blurch Herfgrog moved into the area six months ago. He doesn't see the problem with the changes the goblins have brought to the area. For him, it is just another stage in the evolution of Brunswick. I agree. It's just part of the natural cycle of things, you know? Gentrification, goblification, blobification, uh, then the uh, humanoid grasses move in, then the French, you know, and everybody's a winner. Uh, the old residents get extra value on their properties. The goblins get to live in a suburb that's a short commute to their hell mines. And the re real estate agents like me, we get to make a fucking fortune. Smashed rat? <laughs>